Hello, Internet, and welcome to the first part of The Making of Soulscape, the upcoming album by the Santo Pesanen Project, featuring yours truly. Now then, in this part, there won't be too much, um, uh, Seki talk, or whatever, etc. Rather, in this part, I'll explain some of the essential differences between Soulscape and the previous albums that I've done. If you'll just wait a second. Right. So first of all, I did free her. Now I'm actually using Reason Essentials. Oh, shut the fuck up. That'll bring us to number two in a moment. Now, sadly I couldn't figure out how to get my Samsung USB microphone working on this thing, so I wasn't able to do any sorts of tests. Which brings us to number two. I got some new equipment, as I mentioned on Facebook. Now this is my new interface. This one is a Behringer, or however the fuck you pronounce it. Anyway, so it's a Behringer Euphoria UM2 interface. And this thingamajig here is a Superlux E202 condenser microphone. No USB as you can see, pure XLR. And the microphone cable, which is a 3 meter cordial, XLR male to female, nothing too interesting about that one. Um, oh, and number three, for recording the guitars and guitar and bass tracks, excuse me. I've heard it anyway. So instead of using the guitar amp and recording it with a microphone, I'll be plugging the bass and the guitar directly into the instrument and put on this. And I'll be respectively using the um, Line 6 guitar and bass and track extensions in Reason Essentials. So that should help get rid of the um, static noise that is in the previous albums a lot because the sound is coming straight through the guitar amp and into the microphone. Yep, so those are the essential differences. And I believe that concludes this video. So next time, I'll be hunting for guitar and bass tones. See you there.